Hey guys, I'm Shannon Dykeman. And I'm Kayleen Smith, and we are with GoTime Training. If you have not seen us on the Facebook page, we are a personal training studio that offers, obviously, personal training, semi-private, and boot camps. So we're going to talk to you today a lot about GoTime and really where we have started at, at a personal level in our previous careers, what we did prior to NPE with our business and how we were growing our business, uh, yet found ourselves to be slightly unsuccessful, and then really where we went uh, after utilizing the MPE principles that we've been following for about the last year. So if you guys don't know about our personal lives a little bit, um, I put this funny heart on there, and Mark Norton's probably laughing somewhere in here, our coach. But um, Kaylee and I actually started a relationship together before we ever started a business together. And we found quickly that we sucked at a relationship, but we were meant to be business partners. So we ditched the heart, we've stayed in business, and it's been an awesome experience ever since. So let's talk to you a little bit more about ourselves. So I actually am an engineer by school, so I'm a little bit nerdy. And I moved to Wichita, Kansas from Grand Rapids, Michigan in 2006 after getting my engineering degree. I remember getting a phone call one day uh, from the Boeing company, and they said, uh, we want you to fill out an application that you started. Um, we're going to send you to Wichita, Kansas for an interview. And I was like, where the heck is Wichita, Kansas? So anyways, I moved to Wichita. I was a structural engineer in military aircraft for about four years. Started getting my master's of business uh, at Wichita State University shortly after that. Uh, Boeing paid for all of that stuff, so it was great. Started learning about business and understanding that it was something that I was very passionate about. Um, and at the same time, I got into uh, competitive bodybuilding. I didn't really have a, a whole lot to do after work. I was new to the town, and so I just started lifting weights, reading muscle and fitness, getting into nutrition, and that's really when Kayleen and I started to evolve our friendship, um, and we started helping each other go through that journey. So my part of the story is I didn't grow up healthy or active at all. I was actually a little overweight growing up, and I struggled like many people do um, to find that balance. But then also, I was raised in a traditional family that my mom kind of pushed me, go to school, go work for a large corporation. So I did that. After high school, I went to Wichita State University where Shannon got his master's. Um, and I got an undergrad in math, so we're both nerds. Um, and then I went, I landed a job at a Fortune 500 company, and I thought I was just going to work my way up the corporate ladder, be super successful, work hard for somebody else. During that time, I decided to go back to school for my master's, and while going to school for my master's, I also decided I wanted to quit paying the YMCA's uh, electrical bills and actually utilize my membership. So during that time, I started going to classes. I was just searching for a way to get myself fit and healthy, um, hence when I started talking to Shannon and, and we started our journey together. So like Kayleen said, now, we've got the corporate past. I went from being an engineer to being the chief of staff for the site director of Boeing Wichita. I spent about six and a half years in the corporate world, yet as Kaylee and I started getting into these fitness competitions, we had this mindset that we could do it better. People kept coming to us and asking us, well, what do you eat? How much should I eat? When do I eat? So we knew that we had to include nutrition and really incorporate more of a lifestyle transformation for our clients. And that's really when we just jumped right in. So at this point, uh, before we opened our studio, um, we were both still working corporate jobs and we decided we could do it better, so we started our business online. Friends and family were asking us how we were doing it. We started giving them tips and tricks and they were seeing success. We were like, why can't we make money doing this? So um, being the nerds that we are, we both knew a little bit of coding. We opened or created our own website, um, started our business online, and a little bit after that, uh, Coke Industries, where I worked, said that they were outsourcing all of HR shared services. So I was young. I had just graduated with my MBA. I didn't know what that meant. Uh, I didn't know what my future looked like there, and I decided this was the time for me to take a leap for me to do what was really passion, passionate, what I was passionate to do. So um, I quit my job, and little did I know as I was going through my transformation, I was sharing my tips and tricks online through Facebook. People were following me. I was starting to build a business that 
ended up being Go Time Training. So when I left my job, I rented out space from a small personal training studio and I began working early mornings, late nights, really had no vision for myself, but my client base grew tremendously. I was making about $10,000 a month on my own renting, I was paying dirt cheap rent to this guy. Uh, I, I didn't realize how good I had it there. Um, but I was starting to have to turn people away, and that's a good but a bad problem to have. People were coming and they wanted my help, but I didn't have any more hours in the day. So I kept, I'd go home to Shannon and I said, hey, we've got to open our own location. We, I need your help, I need you to quit. This is a viable business. So we decided that it was time to open our own location. I found the perfect location. We both put up about 20,000 of our own um, saved dollars into our business, and we opened our first location in May of 2012. It was 1,800 square foot. Um, at that time, we were successful. We had a lot of clients, but we had no systems. We did not know how to run a business. Um, and then we found our first trainer. So the guy comes in, and he walks into our our facility, he sees it like this. And we're interviewing him for a job and he's looking at us like, who the heck are you guys and what the heck do you think you're doing? This, this place isn't even built out and you think you have a job to give me. So here's what it turned into. So this is our original studio. We've, we'll show you some pictures. We've expanded even more. But this is our original 1,800 square feet. So our trainer he's, that Kayleen was talking about, he came on board, he's been with us ever since, he's now our lead trainer. Um, so this has really allowed us to um, start making more money, servicing more clients. Um, I had, at this point, was still working at Boeing. Um, so we had opened the business in May of 2012. I left Boeing, uh, I was there for a total of six and a half years. I, we did both jobs for about six months and then Kayleen said, you gotta help me. So I jumped in full time with her. But we still had no clue at this point. So. This is, a, this is our first marketing effort. I remember Kayleen saying, we're gonna go to the Bridal Expo. I was like, okay. <laughs> and she said, there's gonna be like 10,000 people there if we get like a half a percent. Of Brides half wanna get in shape, right? Yeah, so this we're- This is a no-brainer. So we're doing the math and she's like, this is, we're gonna crush it. So we made this cool banner. We're like, all right, we look good. People wanna look at us. So they'd go to the cupcake factory next to us, right? You see them grab a cupcake, and they would look over at us, and they'd go. <laughs> we totally tanked, right? So we were marketing ourselves. We had no clue what we were doing. So we overcame a lot of those battles. So you'll see this picture here on the right. Kayleen's got her pink kettlebell up there. This was our first expansion. Uh, we kicked out some of our neighbors. We utilized some of their warehouse space and added 1,200 square feet. So this is where we're at right now. We've got about 3,100 square feet. So we were making it past the challenges. We made it past us separating our personal relationship, um, growing our business. Uh, we continued to hire people. At one point, I believe we had, um, before we even did this expansion, we had seven trainers. I remember having like 17 people in 1,800 square feet. We were just rocking. But We were cozy. But we still had, yeah, we were cozy. We, <laughs> we didn't have any concept of business. Um, we were still making money. We were putting it aside. We paid ourselves virtually nothing which is hard going from corporate jobs where we made a lot of money to paying ourselves uh, just enough to pay the mortgage. Um, and I remember I had one day, uh, it was like July or so um, in 2014, I had messaged a girl, and some of you guys might know Molly Galbraith. She used to work for j and Strength and Conditioning, now she runs Girls Gone Strong. I just sent her a message. We had talked a little bit in the past, and I just said, hey Molly, um, who do you recommend for marketing uh, to help me grow my business? And she said, well I use these people here, but I hear this company called MPE is just crushing it. So I remember, watching a video, going on to Google. I remember sending it to Kayleen and she's like, um, yeah, that looks okay. Um, but it's kind of expensive. But uh, I think Kayleen can vouch that um, it was well worth the investment. So Very here's, much. let's talk about kind of how GoTime Training has transformed since MPE has walked into our life. So you can see where the green arrow is. If you look at kind of the yellow column there, we are making like about $33,000 a month. Um, it was kind of all over the place. We weren't really managing or running our business. Um, in about one year, we've added about $40,000 of revenue to our business. So we jumped about 125%. In July, we saw about $75,000 um, a month. And we just had our best month ever, um, thanks to Balance Habits and those guys that are here today. Um, we injected about $20,000 worth of cash last month and had our best month ever at $86,000. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you. So um, we're overcoming, we're going through a transformation. We are doing what we thought was the impossible. And I remember when we started working with Mark Norton, one of the things that he told us to do was raise the rates. And I was terrified. Um, I thought all of our current clients were gonna leave, think we're crazy because uh, like you just heard, I was all for giving my knowledge away for free at first, you know? Anybody can learn how to train and how to eat right. I didn't really expect people to pay me a lot of money for it. So then I thought, also, we're not gonna attract new clients if we raise the rates. I was totally wrong. So we raised the rates. Our profit margins flourished. We were um, way overpaying our staff. I did all the financials for the longest time, and I remember going to Shannon every time I would cut our paychecks, and I'm like, Shannon, we left some amazing jobs where we were making awesome money, we had benefits, we, we didn't have any worries, and now we're paying ourselves nothing, and I see how much I'm paying our trainers. Um, I was almost in tears. So we adjusted their pay scale, um, we had to clean house a little bit with that, but our profit margins went through the roof. We added semi-private, which helped us increase those profit margins. We hired an admin, which was another really, really scary thing to do because that's somebody that's on my payroll now that I have to pay no matter what the money um, is that we have coming in. She has been amazing. I never thought I would fill her up 40 plus hours a week, but I did that so quickly. And I'm going to jump in here. If you guys ever have a chance to hire an admin that's also a photographer, do it. <laughs> Saves you some money. Um, auto closer. Shannon is bomb at closing sales. Without auto closer, we were just kind of like sitting in there talking to people, most of the time just giving them everything that they were looking for in that one hour consultation, and then they would go out and implement it on their own. So he's done amazing, which you'll see in a slide in a moment on auto closers. Um, adding long-term contracts. We did month to month before, or maybe like small packages, but we started three, six, and 12 months when we started with MPE, and then recently, and, and that was awesome, but recently we got rid of the three month, added 18 months, and he's selling those like hotcakes. Um, and then started implementing marketing systems. Go ahead and transfer, I think. Yeah, so okay. once Kayleen said that, we implementing the marketing systems, getting the auto closer going. One of the things that we've done to really grow our business and provide value is investing back into our clients. So providing that client experience. So a lot like we're all a part of Facebook groups, we've done that internal to our business. Um, we have one going on right now for our takedown challenge and it's crazy. I don't even want to look at my phone when we get done with this today because there's only like 4,000 notifications. Um, but we're doing birthday cards. Uh, we're doing consistent testimonials from people. Like I said, our admin shoots video pictures. It's awesome. She builds a sexy looking uh, weekly newsletter that goes out. We have clients that are actually blogging recipes for us. We do a lot of referral campaigns. We recently got turned on from uh, one of the people in the VIP group, I apologize, I don't remember the name, but doing $100 referral, actual nice gift cards that look like credit cards, works really slick to giving those out to your customers and bringing some friends in. Um, and we're just constantly trying to drive new, new ways to create value. You can see this is one of our clients, Jessica. Um, we, we do things for, like Quest Bar Bouquets Forum for clients of the month, and they love to talk about us on Facebook, and she's come a long ways, but they become advocates for us because we've invested in them. So as you guys heard earlier, when Shannon heard about MPE and he brought it to me, um, the investment at the time seemed huge, and I'm a numbers person, I'm a money person, I was like, eh, it's not worth it, we can do this on our own. I was completely wrong. Um, in the first year, about six months, we grew 32%. I've always been super money savvy, so unlike some of the other stories that you've heard today, we've been debt-free almost 90% of the time that we've had our business um, until recently, which you'll see why. Um, but MPE has helped us double our pay, bring up our profit margins, um, get off the floor mostly. Shannon and I were, when we put the business plan together, we thought we would work, you know, train eight hours a day and then do the back office stuff and we could handle it all and we were wrong. So getting off the floor and focusing more on our business instead of in our business. Um, investing in staff and systems, 
Mark has really, really helped me come to the realization that the more I invest in my business, the more I'm going to get out of it. Um, and then taking the next leap and doing NPE VIP. So one of the big things when we got into VIP, and if Stacy's here, I know she's telling us to be VIP pro right now. Um, but anyways, we really started to invest in ourselves in terms of the mindset. Um, we decided that it was time for us to get away from calling ourselves trainers, and now we're entrepreneurs. We're fitness business owners. So taking control of our business, uh, we now manage a staff of seven and are investing ourselves in developing them, focusing on our growth of our business, and really becoming leaders. So I'm going to have, we're out of time, I'm going to have Shannon skip to the next slide here. We've definitely evolved the business and with the help of NPE. Um, so let's jump right into the numbers. Like Kayleen said, we've evolved immensely. So let's just look at from August last year to August of this year. So we have, this is August 2014, it's the first time I ever did auto closer. We were bringing in about $1,400 a sale and we now, are, our average sales are over $5,000. So we did about $22,000 in new sales a year ago. Last month, we closed about $118,000 of new contracted sales in one month, and I've beat that this month already. We had about the same number of consults, but you can look and see we were making about $52,000 worth of revenue. And now, uh, last month, like I said, we had our best month ever at almost $86,000, and we brought our profit margin up uh, 15%. So we consistently maintain our margins about 40%, but balance habits really help us bring up the profit margins last month. So in one year, uh, we've seen about 65% growth. And what's that look like now for our year-end projection? So 2014, we brought in a little bit um, just shy of $550,000. Our average monthly came out to be about $46,000 with 30% margin. So to date right now, we've brought in over $600,000. Um, our average month right now is sitting at about $75K with a net margin of about 41%. So MPE has really helped us bring those margins up um, by investing ourselves in our business. And the end of this year, we're hoping to be right around a $900,000 business and growing about 66% from last year. So what's that all turn into again? So this is where we're going with our business. So Kaylee and I always knew that we had a bigger, bigger vision. So we, we teach people how to become personal trainers. We have a whole schooling and internship program. We have an amazing staff. We're doing balanced habits. We don't have any office space, and we know that we need to be able to accommodate a growing business. We're bursting at the seam, so this is where we're going. So this is a rendering of our new building that's going up right now. This is the way it looked last week, um, and actually yesterday I got some emails from our contractor. They're putting the whole skin, the exterior of the metal building on, so when we get home, it's going to be completely boxed in, so it's going to be pretty cool that it's changing right now. So we're going from about a 3,100 square feet leased personal training studio to owning our own acre of land and 10,500 square feet of actual building that's going to be all ours. So I just want to leave you guys. If any of you guys are thinking about investing in MPE, if you're not already with them, I think it is the best investment ever. Um, or accelerator to NPE VIP. I can't speak for anything higher. It has helped us grow our business to where we are today. Thank you very much.